Hey everybody, and welcome to Plaid Craft TV. I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Fillion. Today we are taking a thrift store dresser and turning it into a child's play kitchen. This is one project your kids are going to love when you're finished. Now this is a big project, so we're going to depart from what we normally do here at Plaid Craft TV, and we're going to walk you through every single step that we did on this. And don't worry, you don't need to take any notes because all of the instructions are at plaidonline.com. So just sit back and get inspired. This was a fun one to make. Oh, it it was like we kept adding layer <laughs> and layer and layer. And look how it turned out, fantastic. <laughs> so the first thing we did is we got ourselves a little tub like this. And we liked this tub because it had a nice rim around it. And then we made a template and cut a hole directly into the top of the dresser so our tub fit right in. Then we got ourselves a faucet and attached it from the bottom right on up to make this little groovy sink here. The next thing that we did is we pre-drilled our holes for any hardware that we were gonna use. We have an oven handle here and we have another side handle there that we just use as a towel rack. And we also removed our top drawer. Then we went and got our full cart paint, our wicker white, with our three inch brush. We went over the whole entire dresser and base coated it in our white. The next painting that we did was to paint our faux oven. And what we used for that is the metallic aluminum in the center portion here. And then we used pure black around the edges. Now our dresser drawer came with this feature, this sort of cutout feature that was perfect for the front of an oven. If your dresser doesn't have that, just use some low tack tape mark off a square or rectangle shape and paint that with the aluminum paint. Once that paint was dry, we went ahead and attached our handles and we just hot glued one of these oven knobs that we picked up at a home improvement store. And of course we attached our other little handle over yeah. here. So we were looking at it saying, what's missing? And of course, the backsplash. Very easy to do. We just got ourselves a piece of balsa wood and a piece of trim here. And we just painted it with the full guard paint. We used some hot pink and some tickle pink. <laughs> Well, those pinks, are, <laughs> those pinks are perfect for this. To add some extra embellishments, we used wood cutout shapes. Now, this is a pre-painted daisy design. We glued it onto the front with hot glue and onto the sides. We also used some wood, just plain wood cutouts. These come in multiple sizes, and we painted them with the same tickle paint <laughs> and hot glued them around. Got a couple down here to feature the corners and then across our back. Now what oven wouldn't be complete without a burner? So what we did was we printed out on our computer this burner shape right here and we used our matte Mod Podge, put right on top of it, covered it over with Mod Podge, got ourselves a little frying pan. Maybe Sizzle up some eggs. Make some eggs, yeah. <laughs> to soften the whole oven, what we did was we hot glued some pom-pom trim around the edges and we created this little drape to conceal our storage area under here. For the drape, we used a dowel rod, we used an eye hook and a cup hook to attach that. Very, very simple. Did a quick hem on some fabric and just made a channel up here where our dowel rod could go through. And we painted some cherries on there using the full cart metallic paint. Now we have some leftover material, so what we do? We made a little dish towel here using the exact same material, the exact same kind of cherry here, and we did a little trim on the bottom. And I think we're gonna show you right now how to make this. So let's get started on that. Yes, so to paint the cherry, it's very, very simple. The first thing you're gonna do is take a circle shape. You could use a cup or plate. I use a roll of tape all the time. Grab a pencil, so just position it wherever you want on the fabric, and just draw a circle, as simple as that. Then we are using our metallic shimmer rose paint. Ooh, and this has the most beautiful little baby sparkles in it. Yeah, it's really cool stuff. First thing I like to do is start off at the top here and make an M, like your lips here. And it goes right on top of our fabric, very simple. Make our M, and the reason why we're making the M is that little groove in there for the stem to pop out. And you're just gonna follow this all the way around. The markings that you just made, very simple painting technique. Remember, this is a kid project. <laughs> so we're keeping it simple here and you're just gonna fill in. Now the trick to this is you wanna make sure you leave a little bit empty and it gives it that three-dimensional look so it gives it a 3D kind of pop to it. I like to make a little square just like that and then you're just gonna fill in all the way around the rest of the chair. 
Okay, home stretch here. Let's just fill in this rest. Just make sure you cover all the areas. There you go. I think it looks pretty good. I think we're ready for a stem. That's all we need now. So for the stem, I'm just going to use a detailed brush. I've got a small amount of the pure black paint. I'm gonna dip it in and tap off some of that excess. And you'll go right into the center part of that M. Once this is done, all you need to do is set it aside and let it dry. You can do this directly onto your fabric before you stitch it up into a drape, or you can do it after you do the drape. And don't forget, all the instructions for our Play Kitchen are on our website at plaidonline.com. This is a great, great project to do with your kids. And don't forget to check out our bonus idea. We've got some fun ideas for how you can make canned goods for your Play Kitchen. And one of my favorite projects of this season is this faux cake. That looks good enough to eat. So simple, right? It's made with styrofoam and apple barrel cakes. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Ciao.